All right, hi everyone. This is Gav and this is Bic. We're back again. IPL is already back again. We just sound like IPL just finished. Roy Sharma was already lifting the trophy, and you know, the trophy was heavier than him. <laughs> it cannot be possible. That's what he was saying. That's a rumor. That's not true. Roy Sharma is heavier than Mount Everest. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, after I say something about Roy Sharma, we're gonna be. I'm gonna take a segue here and actually talk about the right now the most hottest news in right now on in in sports right now is Chelsea manager Frank Lampard has been sacked. Yeah. Did you know about yeah, that? Yeah, I knew. Or you've been living under a rock. You knew about that. So everybody's talking about that. Everybody's giving opinion on that. It's a big, big story. Uh, just to tell people why this is such a big story. If you have, you live under a rock, you've never watched football. You don't care who Frank Lampard is. Even worse, you don't even know who Frank Lampard is right now. When I'm saying Frank Lampard so many times, you still can't pronounce his name properly. Now the big deal is that the Chelsea club is owned by Roman Abramovich. who sounds like some mafia he probably is but <laughs> yeah. he's some massive tycoon billionaire billionaire from uh, russia, russia and uh, he 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 took over the club he he bought the club in 2003 so it's been 18 years and the person has never spoken ever never written anything about the club never tweeted never done anything ever he has not spoken at all and he has sacked 13 managers in the last Uh, 18 years, so it's been crazy. But he has never said anything good, bad, nothing. He just doesn't speak. This is the first time he made a statement, and he said it's been the most difficult decision to sack Frank Lampard, whom he knows personally very well, mm-hmm. and he has amazing relations with him. He just said it's just something that we had to do, and mm-hmm. one of the most difficult decision of his life. The only time he ever ever spoken in 18 years that he's been he's took over the club, and people always talk about him as the most ruthless person. He so ruthless. He doesn't even say anything. He's <laughs> like those um, uh, villains, Bond villains. Yeah, correct. And but today he just said something. But but good thing is that he's still so ruthless. He's like as much as difficult it was, he went for it. He took out the gun. He shot him dead. All right. More on that bit later when we do the um, soccer podcast. But right now IPL is heating up, particularly because Robin Chudo Thapa, whose name otherwise known as Robin Uthapa, has been who's thirty five years old, does not score any runs. But somehow CSK, whose policy is now only youth, <laughs> they took him. Because then he's just thirty-five. That's youth, man. It's like CSK. That's youth. So when people are like, oh, you change your policy, they're like, no, no, thirty-five for us is youth. We're like forty, forty-two years old people here. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So only two other people apart from him have been traded. Traded means just before the auction. Auctions on February eleventh. Off my head until fourth of February, you can trade. Off my head. If I'm wrong, become you can correct yeah, that's me. Correct. Um, Yeah. So and Daniel Sams, it's a combo package with Harshal Harshad Mehta, not Harshad <laughs> Mehta. That doesn't seem right. Harshad Patel. <laughs> Who is the other Harshad guy? Patel. Harshal Patel. So yeah, Patel and Mehta too, and 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 Shah. So the, so they've been as a combo package taken from uh, DC to RCB. Uh, I don't know why RCB has bought them, but Daniel Sams is something I just feel like he's just uh, very early on. But I think they're probably seeing potential and he can do something. But right now, whenever he comes, it doesn't look like he looks like an absolute rookie. Mm. So let's see how that goes. <coughs> Harshal looks very Uh, intelligent and seems very serious and mature. So let's see how this guy goes. I do not know what exactly why exactly they bought him. I'm pretty sure one of the reason is because they're not costly. They're very cheap. Yeah. So they just gotten them, and these people have obviously agreed to go uh, to RCB. So fair enough. Maybe they like Virat Kohli. <laughs> people like, oh, you still like Virat Kohli? Like, you know, I was all I was thinking about Vikram Dhawan last time talking about that. Uh, you know, we should find somebody else for Rahane. Oh, try sacking Rahane right now, man, <laughs> for the next three years. Yeah, correct. He's untouchable now. <laughs> He's untouchable now. He's the next Dhoni. <laughs> He is the next Dhoni. All right. So let's talk about few players that have been. Let's start with. I have. I've got the chart open. I'll just will flip flop. First chart will. I'll talk about. Uh, I'll get two teams and you can take two. I'm taking Super mm-hmm. King. You have the same chart from IPL. Yeah, correct. Right? Uh, Super King and then Delhi Capitals the next yeah. one. So they have dropped Harbhajan Singh. Oh my God! We are so surprised. <laughs> no, we are not. So Harbhajan Singh has been dropped after all the drama that happened with Harbhajan. But guess who was not who is not dropped? Suresh Raina, who's still on 11 crore yeah. package per IPL, which is, seems like a ridiculous amount of money. And after all the drama, he's not been dropped. I'll just talk about all the people who are dropped, and then well, Kedar Jadhav has been dropped. But they're saying they dropped Kedar Jadhav. Particularly, they would have kept him, but his price was too high. Yeah. And his he just wasn't performing. If his price was low, they would have kept him, which makes sense. Then they dropped Monu Singh. I don't know much about him. Murli Vijay. Guess we didn't see that coming. <laughs> Gautam Gambhir, uh, Piyush Chawla has been dropped. I am really happy. Finally, that fat little piece of shit has been <laughs> dropped, and Shane Watson has has retired. Yeah. So uh, Piyush Chawla, if you can't go to the gym, then you can probably sleep in the gym <laughs> because that's what you were doing anyway. So at least now you're not getting paid. Correct. 
he's probably too fat to be even getting getting laid okay so that was that team and then from delhi capital they've dropped alex carey somebody i really really personally like they've dropped jason roy but i think it's a money thing yeah. and jason roy wants to go in in the market and probably earn more money in which they're saying speculating he's going to earn more money he was on 1.5 crores they're saying he's probably going to fetch at least three times more than that that's the rumor i've heard mm-hmm. kimo paul is there he has uh, no relation with kima that we eat <laughs> uh, um, Mo- mohit sharma is there uh, Sandeep Lamichen Chane how do you pronounce it and Tushar Pandey the happiest I'm just so happy <laughs> because I criticized this guy helter skelter top to the bottom and finally they realized that Tushar Pandey after he almost lost them the final spot they finally drop him and he was so cheap the best part is this guy they really probably really wanted to get rid of because they were like so cheap that it doesn't even matter like he was probably on 20 lakh or something and they still dropped him that means you they really wanted to get rid of this guy <laughs> all right so uh, none surprises but one surprise i still have is and i want to ask you on that question you can take up the next two teams suresh raina how did the hell they are still keeping him for 11 crores after all the drama that happened after all the covid nonsense that he disappeared he was like oh i'm gonna die i'm gonna leave and um, in, in the entire by the way you, if you notice the entire history of uh, football and cricket and all the sports that have been going on nobody has actually had any critical impact yeah. ever no sports person in all those leagues right and they've been traveling helter skelter so suresh raina what do you think must have happened be- behind the doors and how much do you think dhoni was probably involved in this massive save as i would call it uh so i think uh i when when you asked me this question i just remember that uh, very famous dialogue from the movie fast and furious uh, the the main character in that wind diesel he says family matters first so <laughs> i think it's all about the family i don't have friends i got family oh jesus <laughs> raina is uh, uh is integral part of uh, the dhoni cartel <laughs> uh and uh, you can see that happening uh, i think jada was also part of it but then he had to play <laughs> in the last last edition and he didn't perform so i don't think uh, there was any option left for dhoni but i think raina is really close uh, and he also retired with dhoni <laughs> we we did a podcast about mm. that as well so yeah i think uh, dhoni has Between everything August, to do yeah. with it uh I don't see I I don't know how someone who has already retired hasn't performed that much didn't play the last IPL had a bad uh uh a drama uh, would still be getting so much money so yeah definitely there is some kind of family thing going on <laughs> there so yeah good for him yeah i think also they didn't pay him last time they yeah. openly said they will not pay yeah they mean him. yeah and, that uh, that makes sense it's, it's a lot of money right i yeah i know i know for these people they already have tons and tons of money but you know as we are human beings and particularly as indian human mm. beings we love our money 11 crores still a good money i know um, so not getting paid it would have been difficult for him that's why he was probably that's why he's been looking very jolly recently because he probably knew some of the other part that he's already you know maybe uh-huh. he's just mm-hmm. bent over and probably touched the right feet so whatever has happened behind the doors but i'm not particularly happy because this is one guy i would have been very happy if he was dropped completely from everywhere he, i'd rather have him play in singapore or like taiwan <laughs> or something wherever yuvraj singh is playing these days so uh, nothing surprising so i think uh, raidu and everybody is there chahar is there who's they've keep kept uh, jagdishan but again because he's only 20 lakh so it doesn't really matter and he can probably perform at yeah, some point yeah. in time hazelwood is staying um Karan Sharma who's on 5 crore is staying but then that's he's the pretty much one leg spinner they have i guess so correct it does make sense ravindra jadeja is there uh, raturaj gaikwad who's on 20 lakhs but i think he, wasn't the gaikwad the guy yeah. right who eventually made yeah, some yeah, runs yeah, in the yeah, opening yeah, right correct. yeah um, and uh, sam karan is on 5.5 sam karan is worth every every little uh, rupee <laughs> that he is being given correct. and uh, shardul thakur and and then suresh raina who's because ms dhoni and suresh are on such massive packages that pretty much they end up eating the entire uh, purse yeah. uh, that these people have how much is the salary cap purse it's like 85 crores or something uh, yeah, yeah 85 correct. crores correct that is yeah, 85 it's 85 crores so practically these two people almost has 3 uh, 30 crores to themselves yeah. although the most expensive player is virat kohli at 17 crores he was probably saying like no matter what happens you just have to pay me 1 rupee more than dhoni <laughs> and then 1 rupee became 2 crores so it was just uh, yeah and uh, in fact dhoni is not even the second most expensive 
uh, our Pat Cummins is the second right. most expensive. He gets paid 50 lakhs extra. So, yeah. All right. Without wasting too much time on that, my nuisance. So, mm-hmm. let's move on to the next teams. Unless you have a couple of th- anything you would talk about these two teams which we talked about earlier. Uh, that was Delhi Capital. Oh, I didn't talk about Delhi Capital specifically. I think I'm, let me say Estonia's... Prithvi Shaw is there, but then he's he's not on a very big package, interestingly, after all the talk. He's on 1.2 crores. Yeah, it was his... Uh, the, compare that with Rishabh... Yeah, it was his first... Uh, with Rishabh Pant. First, uh, uh, this thing, I think, what do you call that? First uh, auction. So, uh, right after the under-19 World Cup win. So, that's why he is... And after that, his uh, stock has fallen, so... <laughs> it's kind of difficult for him to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, because I was reading up a little bit, so I think it's it's not as straightforward as that, that whatever price you're on, mm. your price can change. You can negotiate uh, yeah. with the team. It was saying, because that's what I was reading, it says like they were they were, they were were not sure why certain people, Patterson is moving, mm. because they were saying that he was, they said that he was already supposed to get paid more at, at Bombay, Mumbai, mm. and but then he moved. So when they're saying they was already supposed to get paid more, that means I think internally they can change it uh, or discuss it and lower it as well. So, the rest of the team, I mean, because you think about like uh, Prithvi Shaw, because you kind of, I mean, apart from recently really failing badly, Mm -hmm. he was, you have to think, even still, he was still in the team and Rishabh Pant was not in the team and Rishabh Pant gets paid 15 crores Mm -hmm. and uh, Prithvi Shaw gets paid 1.2 crores. So, there's a huge, huge difference uh, between these two players. But Rishabh Pant has performed. Henrique. Uh, He has played um, uh, match-winning innings. In the 2019th edition, so he has the. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm yeah. saying he's great. Yeah. I'm just saying there's a huge difference between that. I, for whatever reason, I know why. And en- en- Enrique Nokia's uh, salary is so weird. His salary is like 89.82, which is 8.982 crores. I mean, who the hell came up with this figure? <laughs> Does he get paid in some uh, uh, South African? Uh, Dollars or something. <laughs> it's like his salary is just weird because I've, everybody's like even out, right? It's like 20, yeah. 60 something. Yeah, I think it's because of the uh, auction which was happening. The who, uh, whoever they were fighting with, uh, Delhi Capitals, that time I think the amount ended at that that figure. <laughs> this is a bizarre number that it comes through. Like because I think they were like trudging towards the 9 crore point and they were like okay pestering people and just like it just ended there okay fair enough I think everybody that they've kept it just seems to be making sense to me off my cursory glance on that so yeah, yeah. Uh, over to you then yeah I think uh, in Delhi Cap- I just will make one point for Delhi Capitals uh, Sandeep Lamishane Lamishane I, I don't know how to hmm. pronounce his name he's I think it's Shane yeah, I don't think he's Lamishane because it's, he's from he's uh, Nepal, Nepal so he'll be Huh. More traditional name. So anyway, so I think he's a very good bowler. Yeah, Shane would be more UP, right? Shane, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so I, I, he, I think he's a very good bowler and uh, I think it, it there's just no space for him uh, in the Delhi Capitals team. Uh, last season also, he didn't play many matches. I think he didn't even play any matches. Or did he? But maybe he would have played a couple of matches. But I think that's why I think he would have said that uh, let me go somewhere else at least I can play uh, because he's a really upcoming bowler hmm. he's very he he had a very good season in 2019 so okay uh, yeah so next one is Kings 11 Punjab and they have uh, hmm. I think they so have uh, after RCB they are the ones who have uh, released mo- uh, most number of players 9 players they have released uh, and uh, hmm. They, there are some very good names. Uh, Glenn Maxwell is on top of the list. Uh, who uh, s- kind of underperformed. I mean, he did underperform in the last season. And I think that's the reason. Plus, he would be expensive. Uh, then there is Krishnapa, yes. uh, Krishnapa Gautam or Gautam Krishnapa as they have written it here. He's a Karnataka bowler. He went for a very uh, large sum uh, last to a couple of seasons back when the mega auction happened to Rajasthan Royals and from there he went to Kings hmm. 11 Punjab so uh, yeah I think he he's one of those players like who keeps keep on changing and if, if he doesn't perform in the next two matches I next two seasons I think he'll be forgotten very quickly but he's he's a good bowler I think he can come back then there are uh, okay. hardest uh, then there is hardest which Hey, how do how do you pronounce this? Villion, I think. Villion. 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 So I think uh, he's okay. also 
uh, don't think he has uh, his salary is too much and not didn't play many matches as well so probably the same thing as what happened with Sandeep then uh, James Nisham is uh, released which seems surprising because he's a very good uh, bats uh, all rounder so and a uh, very good uh, guy to have on the social media as well uh, his account is really popular on twitter uh, but yeah i think uh, i don't know what's the reason for him to be left out maybe they think he's expen- his salary is expensive maybe they will because a lot of a uh, lot of these players who have been left out uh i think the teams the franchises are uh thinking that they might buy them back on a cheaper price then there is karun nair possible uh, or maybe kumle doesn't like him <laughs> hmm. he is the triple centurion the o- only second triple centurion oh the only cent- triple centurion right oh, oh jesus yeah. is he going to live <laughs> off that triple century for like what because he hasn't done anything after that that's the problem yeah so well. That's the then Mujib is uh, again so good player uh, Karun Nair although he has not performed so well but he's a big name and uh, Mujib also is a very big name but uh, again I think the problem is that he is not able to play much uh, then Sheldon Cottrell I don't know why they left him because he was bowling really well in the last season uh i think at the end of the season he got yeah particularly when your name is sheldon <laughs> yeah and he does that salute mm-hmm. so uh yeah, yeah very uh some of the names are very big like J- jimmy nisham james nisham uh, glen maxwell i can understand he is probably expensive uh but mujib uh, sheldon and uh, james nisham uh, uh, james nisham i think they are uh, surprise releases for me uh, i thought they would have retained them these players and then there's tajinder dilon uh, which i not sure who he is he uh so yeah that's uh, kings 11 so i think they are just keeping their core group and uh, they are trying to find uh, newer players because last time if you remember they they should have uh, qualified because they lost a lot of close matches and uh, mm-hmm. then their batting was too much dependent upon uh, uh both uh, mayank agrawal and kl rahul and later on when uh mr gail came the universe boss he made them win few matches so i think they want to buy one more dependable player some uh, in 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 the batting department at least bowling i think they were decent so yeah let's see uh, what happens who they buy uh then we move on to kolkata night night riders who have just uh, released six players like the delhi capital i mean most of the teams have only released six players so uh kkr they have released chris green chris green he is the australian player right chris i have no chris idea chris green chris green who is chris green i don't even remember you go on i'll find <laughs> out yeah. and they have released uh, harry gunry uh, gunry who again i don't have much idea and uh, i think he has he did play a couple of matches then m siddharth again some uncapped indian player which i have no idea nikhil nayak one of my um, very good friends <laughs> uh mm. is doppelganger <laughs> actually there is i have a friend co- whose name is nikhil nayak and whenever this guy the uh, player from kkr he plays and uh, i think he has just played four or four five times and uh, whenever he fails uh, my friend who is on instagram his name is also his uh, account is uh, as nikhil nayak he gets lot of heat from the support hmm. kkr supporters saying why didn't you play well <laughs> so so that's <laughs> funny uh, so probably now let's see where he moves on and uh, uh, which team supporter uh, abuses my friend <laughs> next then sidesh lard uh, i think he Yeah again um, an uncapped player I I've seen I think he this guy has been to a lot of teams before uh but not has he yeah. okay you know so much about IPL I'm like <laughs> clueless but Chris Green is Australian so I figured that yeah, out Yeah 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 so yeah uh, yeah so anyway and Tom Banton I think Tom Banton not sure why they have left him uh I guess it's just because a lot of these teams have uh, settled players uh uh players who play the role uh and then there are other players 
who are not getting enough opportunity and probably they are expensive as well uh tom banton i think he would be i'm not sure about his salary but uh uh i think uh, that was that would be one of the reason so yeah i mean kolkata night riders if you see they have a very good team uh on paper at least uh they have just they just changed the captain midway during the last season so they must be uh and they have a lot of uh, young players the fast bowlers and uh mr gill is also there who had a amazing uh, australian tour so they will be on a high mm. i think they and uh, they kind of started coming together at the end of the last season so uh and they have released very few players so i feel that they have they have a uh, quite a settled side side uh just that they everyone needs to play properly and with the new captain uh probably things will fall uh fall in better uh in this year so yeah i think these two teams are these two teams uh what do you want to talk about anything specific oh yeah uh i just think that i don't know why even supporting banton banton was really shit the it was not just he was not scoring runs he just looked completely out of sorts he was just nervous and other things and also the fact that i've just noticing that a lot of people are removing a lot of uh, foreign players because there's a very yeah. limited number of foreign players they right. can have out of 25 they can only have 8 so they're trying to get rid of people that they don't really need and they just they rather go for somebody fresh yeah. and uh, at least when they're going for the auction when they're sending their sons and daughters they're like papa if you release them then i'll auction for this person and I'm like they, that's how they're saying who is this banton beta banton keep kick them out banton this is how probably they're doing all this family <laughs> run businesses that they're doing and uh, um, i i've noticed i'm comfortable with yeah, just just one i just hmm. remembered was something that i noticed during the auction um uh, Juhi Chawla's daughter sits there I don't know what she does and uh, most of the time she'll be just smiling and I think Juhi Chawla also sits uh, for some time uh so yeah a lot of uh, I I don't know how they select teams and what they uh, my Juhi Chawla is on Babas she's into Babas oh is it she's crazy <laughs> So yeah, uh, so she's into babas, and she be like listening to me. I'm saying crazy. She's like you're crazy. I'm saying yeah, you are crazy. You're into babas. So uh, let's move on to because of time and situations. I'm like I don't want to talk about lot because you know so much about IPL. People are like what is he talking about? Who cares about these <laughs> like players anymore? Like Karni and Nayak and all. My best friend's name is Nayak. Last name. <laughs> so. Um, दिग्विजय देशमुख इज गॉन फ्रॉम मुंबई मूव डाउन टू मुंबई इंडियंस लसित मलिंगा इज गॉन आई डोंट नो इज जस्ट रिटायर्ड आई थिंक फ्रॉम एवरीवेयर जेम्स पैटरसन वाज अ सरप्राइज मिचेल मैकलेनहन इज गॉन नेथर कूल टू नाइन इज आल्सो गॉन सो देयर इज लॉट ऑफ बिट ऑफ अ सरप्राइज देन प्रिंस बलवंत व्हाट्स विद द नेम्स इन मुंबई इंडियन टीम्स लाइक दे जस्ट हैव फनी नेम्स नेथर कूल टू नाइल मिचेल मैकलेनहन uh prince balwant rai singh why this guy was playing he four seems people. some prince guy like he's <laughs> i think they have just released four, four people, people and they, uh, just put one yeah. name there <laughs> prince balwant rai <Yeah>. singh <laughs> and Sh- sherfain rutherford i've never even heard of this guy i never knew who prince balwant rai singh was has he ever played in ever his life i'm just it's just i find it bizarre then rajasthan royals which they have uh, the big big fish is steven smith obviously must be costly and they just probably uh because they came last mm. so whenever you come last something happens that's why uh, frank lampard got the boot because once you spend he spent more than 200 million pounds when nobody had any money he brought in all the best players and none of them performed and he got the sack that's yeah. how the world works um akash singh anirudh joshi it says looks like aniruddha joshi which seems like some female's name he probably just uh, you know fooled people in made her quick 20 <laughs> lakh and then she just sat on the bench like ah. ankit singh rajput i've i've seen him i've seen him last yeah, season yeah. so they probably got rid of him i mean they did oshin thomas shashank singh is gone steve smith is gone um, tom karan is gone I think Tom Curran just did not work out very well yeah, so fair correct. enough but Tom Curran is very good and he plays in the England setup in the in the uh, shorter formats yeah, yeah. and then Varun Aaron I think his time is up so he's been there for like forever yeah. right hasn't this guy been there yeah, forever yeah, yeah. correct and um, I'm just going to quickly look at the teams uh, there's one fat guy they kept I was thinking like they're going to remove the fat guy but they did not they never remove fat people Saurabh Tiwari is still there uh-huh. getting more fat I think he did just score some runs last last season 
Yeah, get over yourself. Like, he was like really, really bad. He was coming in when they didn't have a choice, and he looked like so out of sorts. He was wearing a like a like an oversized uh, t-shirt, so he doesn't look fat. And it was just bizarre because he was just already double XL, then he's wearing triple XL shirts. So I don't know what the hell he was doing. Uh, Tiwari, but he's on very low salary. Mm-hmm. Also, you have to understand he's only fifty lakhs. Yeah. So they can afford him. Plus, probably Rohit has said that if you have to buy a house, then we'll keep you. So it's like a house situation that they have. Uh, Chris Lin is there who did not play last year because this is a guy who's been injured all the yeah. time, right? He's always yeah, injured. Yeah, correct. He's playing BBL. Aditya Tare and Mol P. Yeah, but he gets injured all the time. Hardik Pandya, Ishan Kishan, pretty decent salary. Just been Bumrah, Jayant Yadav, Kiran Pollard. Uh, Pollard surprisingly is on a five crore salary. I thought he would be more. Uh, Krunal Pandya is on eight point eight crores. So that's just. I mean, this guy is really lucky to be in Mumbai team because nobody actually ever knows this guy. He's never been in contention for Indian any Indian team. But Krunal is just on eight point eight crores there. Mohsin Singh on twenty lakhs. Quinton De Kock is on two point eight. Chahar is there. Then Rohit Sharma, Sarath Tiwari, and then Surya Kumar Yadav and Trent Bolt. Trent Bolt did really really well last season, so it was fine. Uh, let's see, RR has kept. They've kept Tiagi, somebody I don't like at all. Uh-huh. But he's like always jumping and bubbling. But he's but on he's, like one point yeah. three, so they said okay. So he's fair. a younger player. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Tevati Te- has on three crores, so somebody actually thought Tevati was going to be good. Although Rajasthan Royals still listing Robin Chu Zuthappa, but he's already moved to CSK yeah. as they're only hiring young people, thirty <laughs> five years old. So that me Yashashvi uh, is there. Remember Yashashvi, R Yashashvi. So Yashashvi Jaiswal is here, and apparently gets paid two point five cro- four crores. And I've never ever seen this guy play, yeah, yeah. which is pretty neat life. David Miller, I don't know. I think David Miller is the most overrated player. Never ever performs. Never ever performs. I think his time That's has why gone. he's 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 yeah. there. For, I I'm not even sure when his time was <laughs> he there. He did play. Uh, People always used season. to say David Miller is amazing. David Miller is amazing. Never performed. Yeah, yeah. In one season, he did play very well for Kings Eleven, but uh, that was just, just. Uh, yeah, after that, he just wastes a lot of yeah. deliveries. Then you were like, okay, now that he wasted it, now he'll make run. Then he just gets out. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, they're just purposeless player. And you tie and everybody's there. That's why David Miller is on seventy five lakhs. After all this time, you would not have somebody like him at seventy five mm-hmm. lakhs. Literally, he is one of the lowest paid players in Mumbai. Sorry, Rajasthan Royal. Um, so I don't have nothing much to say. I'm just want to definitely move on from there. And you have the last couple of teams. Correct. Starting with Aaron Finch. Now it will be his sixteenth team. I think Aaron Finch has been in more teams than actually IPL. He's been in every team in IPL, including the one who are banned <laughs> and kicked Correct. out. Correct. Correct. So uh, yeah. yeah, I think uh, RCB uh, once again they have made so many changes. Uh, they have released so many players. They they are the team who have released the highest number of players. Ten players they have released, and uh, very big names in there. Uh, Aaron Finch, Chris Morris, who j- who they just bought last year. Uh, I think that's probably they realized that it's very expensive, and he was injured as well. So probably there is some injury concern as well. uh dale stain obviously uh, th- that was on the cards because dale stain uh, was not performing at all plus he is a injury prone bowler again uh, past his prime already so gurkeerat singh is there who, who for some reason was playing <laughs> uh who, who for some reason came in front of ab de villiers right remember uh, in some of the matches and we were like why why is this oh, happening jesus. and from there he jesus suddenly Christ. released <laughs> so that's how yeah that's what happened I mean, when you destroy people's career now he came into limelight mm-hmm. otherwise nobody would have seen him he would have got taken his 50 lakhs and just stayed happy for the next 20 yeah. years but now gurkeer singh you had to come before the god and then this would happen correct and then no problem he has prithvi's <laughs> number And then there is a uh, Isuru Dana who again, like Chris Morris, was just bought last uh, season. Uh, he did decently. I don't know why they released him. Probably again injury concern uh, because he also was injured for a long time uh, last season and uh, didn't bowl that much. Uh, that because he was brought in as a death bowler specialist, but but he almost died uh, during the <laughs> during the. uh mumbai indians match when uh, <laughs> he was dead bowler yeah when when uh, the match which got tied and then the super over came right remember and uh, <laughs> bumrah uh virat kohli hit a four on bumrah's delivery and then said yes i am back in form 
which was not to be anyway <laughs> so moin ali again a uh, long uh, didn't play much uh, last season just single match uh, i think just it just there's just no place for him in this team uh, and then pathi patel he retired so like shane watson and uh, nasit malinga he he is retired and released uh, pavan negi again one of those players who never get chance to play i think last season didn't even play at, at, at all uh shivam dube so shivam dube all again dube. very interesting because he was supposed to be that uh all rounder uh, which is there in all the team the bits and pieces player who can bo- bat and bowl but uh surely they don't feel that he is suitable for the role anymore and i think that's why they have brought in harshal patel who is also a similar uh, similar player who can bat and bowl uh and he, last season mm-hmm. he did bowl pretty decently uh harshad patel uh so harshad. harshad patel yeah so shivam dube again mm-hmm. released <clears throat> uh which i think is surprising because i think they could have stuck with him uh umesh yadav again released probably injury concern and he is not a very good t20 bowler uh he goes for a lot of runs uh so yeah a lot of changes in rcb lineup the core is still there uh avd uh virat kohli and uh, yuzu yuzuvendra chahal <laughs> uh and apart from that yes. yeah i think this happens all the time with rcb they have those co- core players and then they rebuild the team again and again so uh, let's see what they do i think they they have a lot of money left now so they would certainly go behind uh, michel stark who did play for for rcb in one season uh oh he did yeah, he, he did. did so because i think uh, that's a speculation we'll come back to yeah. that later about the speculation so um yeah then uh, moving on to sunrisers they are again a uh, very settled team as i said uh, they have just released five uh, non play uh, uh, sorry players and all those five players apart from billy stanley i don't any, i don't know any of them uh, so fabian allen is there okay yeah, so he he is also a known uh, cricketer known international cricketer uh, but i think mm. again sunrisers did really well at the end so i think they have figured out their combination so i do, there's not much a uh, reason for them to change their team to the their setup yeah when i'm looking at it it seems like they're only getting rid of people who just like were never going to play or doesn't yeah, make correct. any sense so they're just opening it up because these people have never even heard of these people ever and they have the least uh, players they've released yeah. it's like you know also better for the players also maybe sometime you know sometime people just i'm just stuck correct, can correct, i just exactly. go back in the auction and i can just play for some team maybe yeah. because sandeep bawa knawa i don't know prithvi raj yara i mean fabian allen billy stanley and nobody's ever heard of these people yeah. so so yeah that's but that, yeah i think they're pretty yeah. solid they're pretty solid and they believe in their group so they've just kind of like kept Correct. it that way so do they have much resources left like after because they've not sold any oh yeah they don't even have they like their purse is only 10 yeah, crores yeah because they have a settled team they have um, bhubaneshwar got injured otherwise their bowling is really solid they have uh, bhubaneshwar then they have um, rashid khan and batting lineup was also start, had had also started firing in the last uh, the second half of the last season so i think they just believe that they have the right combination and they don't need to change much so good for them yeah the only sub- only surprise for me is that we would have thought super kings will actually go for an overhaul but they now they have a pack pack left because thanks to suresh raina they only have left 22 crores uh, kings 11 is actually genuinely going all out because they have a package of uh, like uh, purse left of 53 right. crores but then now they only left it like 22 crores and uh, it's just like it just feels stupid to have suresh raina back i mean i i really hope suresh raina makes like three back to back ducks and he just gets you know and they get booed out and then <laughs> you know in the middle of the ipl gets sacked that's something that never happened and that should happen to this guy I just uh, now it's it, it's becoming so personal that I have to just back <laughs> off a little bit. So, the whole last so, season we were just talking about Suresh Raina, Suresh Raina, and then here he is laughing at our faces, earning eleven crores. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at our faces, like yeah, exactly. <laughs> like sitting at home, taking a cool eleven crores and signing more endorsement deals, and he's just like coming on brunch uh, cover pages with his wife and like little 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 kids. <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna say something rude to the kids, but I was like, yeah, I just change it to little little. <laughs> 
So I'm just gonna say something like that. But yeah, just kids. So nothing against them. All right. So um, this is this. So now uh, IPL auction we're looking at, and major auction is coming up. People are like a lot of predictions are coming in that who might just end up becoming the most uh, expensive player and mm-hmm. everything. And um, for whatever reason, this guy, not whatever reason, but like Akash Chopra seems to have some insider information and he's been, he's predicting on Mitchell Stark, who recently, uh, as everybody knows, was just, you know, criticized heavily for probably not bowling very well and all that crap. And he's predicting that Mitchell Stark will not only be the most expensive player to be bought on IPL, but he's saying he's going to break all the earlier records. Yeah, that's very much possible. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's very... It's very, very much, much possible. possible. I, he will... Yeah. Uh, at least he'll I mean uh, the least he would go would be at least 8 to 9 crores I feel believe that's the least uh, and yeah, it just depends on how many people are going yeah, after correct. it right how many people really want him badly and then they will go all out you were saying but see but again some I would feel like when people are saying he's going to go with the most expensive I just feel if people are going to end up putting like you know 20 crores on him would it be too much to put on one player? But that has been the case always, right? Last time also, uh, there was so much uh, building happening for Pat Cummins. Uh, all, uh, I mean, he is the number one bowler, but still 15, oh, how much he got? 15 crores, right? Or 16, 16 point something. So, hmm. so yeah, that's, that's what happens. And this, and remember, this is, uh, this will only be for the, for one year because next year, this uh, there is this uh, mega auction where you can retain uh, limited number of players so all almost all the players will again in the uh, will be in the market and i think that's the reason why hmm. chennai super kings have not uh, released a lot of players because they feel that what whatever they have uh, they already have played with uh, that group of players so there's no point changing now and then next year again rebuilding the team. So I think that's the uh, that's the reason that would be the reason why uh, Chennai Super Kings have not uh, really so many players, even though a uh, overhaul is due for them. So I think uh, that's the reason, and that's why I think uh, Mitchell Stark will go for crazy crazy amount of money, since this is as I said this is just for one year, and there's uh, for the hmm. teams who really need a uh, Oversee bowler, uh, I think they will go all out, uh, and I think uh, RCB will one of well RCB will be one of those teams uh, with Kings Eleven Punjab because Kings Eleven they have as I said they have uh, released Sheldon Cottrell who was their uh, oversee fast bowler so they are looking for an oversee fast bowler mm-hmm. and they have how much they have left in their purse? Can you just check? Who are you talking uh, about? Kings Eleven. Kings Eleven has tons yeah. of money. They have 30, like 52, 53 crores. Yeah, 53 crores. So definitely Kings Eleven Punjab will go for Mitchell Stark uh, uh, and RCB as well because these two uh, have released their overseas, the, the, the first choice overseas fast bowler. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there will be a big, huge bidding war between these two teams and obviously other teams will also try to get, uh, try to look in. So yeah, I'm I'm really, uh, I'm I'm really pretty much sure that uh, uh, Mitchell Stark will go for uh, more than ten crores. All right, so I'm going to quickly run through the names that they're expecting uh, high offers for: Stephen Smith, Glenn Maxwell, Kyle Jameson, and a player named Mohammad Azharuddin. Yeah, recently, and called the next Azhar. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jai Richardson, Richardson? Jai. is that Jai how you pronounce Jai. it? Jai? Yeah, yeah. Jai? Yeah. Is it J.S. pronounced? Okay. Uh, Chris Morris, Mitchell Stark, of course. Uh, Shivam Dube, but one name I've not taken and I'm about to take it just to hit it right there. S. Sri Sant. Not only <laughs> they're saying he's going to come back, people are like, people are going to pay a lot of money for this guy. He is S. Sri Sant. Right now, they're saying that everybody's watching him in Kerala in Smart. I think that's the short form of the tournament that's going through yeah. there. S M A T. I don't know what's the full Smart form. Smart is. Uh, uh, he's likely to fetch yeah. bids in yeah, the. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, so. Uh, it's going to be exciting after, like, you know, I checked it a few days ago, but nobody else been making too many predictions. Still, Akash Chopra's prediction has been looming large. <laughs> and um, it's very reasonable to understand that Mitchell Stark might, but I think there has to be, all this will happen when there will be a bidding war. Correct. 
if the wedding bore is there then practically you know I, imagine the player who's just eating sandwich in his kitchen is like okay keep going <laughs> keep going keep going it must be <laughs> it very exciting it's so much fun yeah. suddenly okay <laughs> let me let me buy this for okay i'm buying another rolex all right let's buy another ferrari now <laughs> these idiots going to pay for everything they're so stupid so yeah when it comes to cricket i mean this is not completely normal in football they get paid like ridiculous amount of money you know gareth bale was just sitting at home and getting paid 650 thousand euros every week yeah so for playing golf and never playing for madrid and now he moved here to tottenham and he's still getting paid the same amount of money and they still don't play him he's still just chilling <laughs> i was like what a life man what a life it's just amazing they still don't play him he's like okay I don't and then care. these I'm people fine. will come out and he say he never complains for not playing yeah. and then these people will come out and say oh i have to look uh, you know this secure my future this is the only time i can earn money obviously <laughs> oh yeah it's a, it's a, it's definitely a big deal so who is your big who are your big three picks in the next season and if you have any prediction which team they might go to or if you thought about them <laughs> uh you know, already given you the names i mean i know it's s three sun is already <laughs> given so you just have to give me two yeah sri sant uh, yeah it, uh, he's playing the as you said smart smart is sayed sayed mustaqli t20 tournament so there he okay. is bowling decently i just i just when you were talking about it i, I was just checking his last match so he uh, bowled four overs and uh, gave 29 runs and took one wicket so pretty decent his economy was 7 so that's what's his pace i want to i want to know that what his pace is like he was he was definitely a very premier baller yeah his pace was good and until some drama and started and it goes to you actually because uh, i didn't even remember and then during one of the uh, i think it was for the i don't know which podcast it was but uh, we were discussing about the last dance uh, and uh, you said hmm. that uh, shishant actually got inspired by that and he wanted to come back and I'm like you were joking then i figured then i checked hmm. and figured out yeah you were right he's getting ready to come back and he did come back and and he's playing in smart so yeah he's pumped yeah. up like i i was just only worried that he seems to be too pumped up he looks more like a bodybuilder but he was than, always like that uh, always that. like i mean okay the body wise yeah 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 that's correct hmm. uh but Yeah he he was he was fed but right now he just looked like very bulked yeah. up so I was like that might not work uh, in his favor because he is one person remember he used to kiss the correct, ball all correct. the time correct too much kissing and then with the covid laws they be like sir can you just stop <laughs> kissing the ball like it's just too much like we're not supposed to kiss the ball anymore so it's like okay okay i'm not touching it it's coming near don't come near <laughs> that'll be too much so yeah because he's always kissing the ball yeah. Uh, but yeah 37 in this uh, if you're fit and sometimes when you're not playing it might not just be bad thing it just you know your body is resting if you're taking care of it mm-hmm. otherwise then you just be resting and you can come out with all the fire and particularly if you really have fire in the belly which this person by the way i actually i was actually half serious mm-hmm. i did not think he's going to do this but i think he must have a lot of uh, fire in the belly that he's coming back we'll figure out because ipl is the, is the stage because if he's not good he's going to get spanked all over the place Correct. so uh, let's see i really want him to play it'll be nice and as i said he's been bowling fine there why not okay so um, yeah you asked me who would go for big bucks i think steve smith will still go for big bucks uh because naturally yeah uh probably chennai will try to get him uh but yeah but it'll be wild because i i really want to see where he goes uh because he was a captain right and then dropping the captain and then he will go to a team and he'll have to play under someone uh and uh, he, it'll, it'll be weird right so i am really interested to see where where he goes and how many, i think he'll still fetch a decent amount of money uh probably not how much he was getting at uh, at uh rajasthan royals but i think he'll still get i don't even know how much he was getting he was getting around 11 or 12 crores um but yeah i could be wrong that's a lot uh, of money while well, figure that out you can continue yeah that. yeah and uh, yeah st- uh, glen maxwell i think again he'll go for uh, good bucks because it's just the promise of him firing right if he fires for one season uh, he will take take the team uh, two places because he's just he's just an unknown, uh, he's you know he's like shahid afridi i mean shahid afridi was uh, pretty brainless uh, but 
but this guy uh, didn't do well last season but he has been playing well uh, even during the last india australia series he he played really well in the in a limited overs and uh, i think he just it's it's just uh, waiting to happen one of those seasons where he'll just uh, you know play to his potential so that promise will fetch him actually good amount of money i feel again uh, will will be interesting mm. to see where he goes so i think steve smith uh, glen maxwell and uh, shrishant again yeah i mean we he is coming back but but this will be his first season plus matt he has not he's played decently but he has not set the world on fire uh so he he'll i think he'll still get in to, into some team but i'm not i don't think that he'll fetch a lot of money uh unless uh, strange things happen during the during the auction uh but i think steve smith uh mitchell stark and uh, glen maxwell all australians will fetch a good amount of money even even aaron finch i think uh, probably not aaron finch but i think moin ali would uh would fetch some good amount of money because he he has the game for the short format he can he he's a smart bowler and he can uh, bat as well so i think he'll fetch uh, he'll also fetch a good amount of money fair enough so uh, this will he'll complete the full circle uh, uh, aaron finch he's already played for 17 <laughs> so whenever he ends up wherever so he'll be eight team so no matter who he plays he was already played with them he's like he knows all the secrets so that's why they buy <laughs> him because Correct. he knows all the secrets all the secrets so i found out steven smith was getting 12.5 crores which is fairly high yeah. amount of money uh um, i'm not saying that he wasn't deserving i just just saying in general that it was a very high amount of money and he might not get that money but it'll still be very yeah. high number but again everything depends on the bidding war if people go for it but i probably don't think that they'll right now go for bidding war for okay. steven smith that high that it will go crazy or anything because people have limited money and they there will be few other bidding wars going mm-hmm. around uh people think that pius chavla will still go back in the auction Kedar Jadhav will go back in the auction. Some people even saying Murli Vijay will go back in the auction. So this is bit strange. Pujara, but Pujara strange things will happen. No, uh, not Pujara. Uh, who did I say? No, Chawla. no, I know. I'm I'm just no, telling you. No, uh, Murli Vijay. Murli no, no, Vijay. No, no, I I I heard you. That Pujara is available. But Pujara is also there in the auction. I, Pujara I will not you. score. Pujara will score after twenty overs. He's like once the twenty overs are done, then I'll start scoring. It's like you know, <laughs> let me get hit. People like nobody is trying to hit you. You need to score runs. <laughs> like you know, he's like after twenty overs we'll score. He's like, <laughs> he'll make like a massive innings of seventeen and he'll stay around for seventy balls. He'll be like okay, thank you, thank you. It's like matches over. He just destroyed but everybody. But I think yeah, then people will beat up. Him. Yeah, that's correct. But but I I feel that it, he will be last time he was unsold. So I feel that this time probably I think someone some team will buy him. I I am. it'll be too stupid to <laughs> because after what he's done in australia he just uh, he's i mean of course he can he can take do few runs but why would you want to put in money for pujara i mean because he'll fetch some money right they'll probably have like some base yeah. base pay as well right? yeah, so like a few crores i just don't think i mean for that money do you think you, you can definitely get somebody who actually loves doing that and can do that because if you get pujara then it's just like I mean, you just buy somebody and then you don't play. It's like once Rohit Sharma was in the team, as you said, that you know if he came all the way to Australia, stayed in quarantine, then you have to Can play I... him, right? So that's the same situation that happens with Pujara. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, it's just there's there's no way. I mean, if Pujara is coming for low salary package, I think you can take yeah. him. But if he's anything more than two crores, then I think no, he's just, I, I he's just go burning too many money. No, I don't think he'll go for that much. More than two crores, probably one crore, one point five crore. Uh, but I think hmm. teams will. someone will buy I, i just have a feeling there's no don't ask me why <laughs> but no, no, i feel family. that he's just I mean, it's just hard CSK. right now so uh, it's like csk yeah, csk probably yeah csk they need a batsman who can not you know just tie and one end up and the others can just do their thing <laughs> all right 
So on that note, I think we'll wrap up here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Mitchell stock does actually end up getting the highest price. And if he does, if he breaks all the records, even if he comes close, he can actually show a big middle finger to everybody who was actually doubting him all this time. And then he'll be getting paid more than Pat Cummins, who's the number one bowler in the <laughs> yeah, world or something. something. And then all the people who are saying, oh, he might can get dropped from South African tour. I was like, yeah, well, whatever. I'm just going to be getting paid so much money. Um, but yeah, I think... Uh, Anyway, that's a different topic altogether. So let's see what happens. It's only a few days to go. And uh, today also, by the way, um, uh, whitewash by England of Sri Lanka. So 2-0. And they're coming here. Next four test matches are here. We'll be talking about that before the matches start in early February. It's in early yeah, February, yeah, right? Course. And um, yeah. we'll, we'll give you our prediction of 4-0 England winning, of course. <laughs> um, let's see. If something changes over the next few days, we will let you know. And uh, it's going to be a nice series. And most of the matches are in Ahmedabad. Uh, there used to be like one match in Ahmedabad in like seven years. Now there's seven <laughs> matches in Ahmedabad in one uh, month. In the new stadium. And it's going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> in the new stadium, which no... And apparently these people have been telling these people that, you know, we can put any pitch you want. We can put any pitch we want. It's like we have this amazing soil or whatever shit that is. They say like we can make the pitch exactly whatever you want. Anytime. We can change it. We can make something else. It'll be amazing. So that's why they're playing test matches first, which I really like that they're playing test matches. There's four test matches. Uh, England's playing 17 test matches this year. And India is going to England, going to play five test matches later on uh, this year. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah. And Virat Kohli is back. I don't know what level. I'm sure he must be very fit, uh, no matter what was happening. He was during the childbirth also. He must be like, you know, uh, doing push-ups and um, yeah. chin-ups. But uh, he still probably hasn't played so much in the net. So we'll see how he's playing. But he is pr I, I was pretty sure he's going to definitely come back after what happened. He's like, people will start forgetting. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, what people the are, uh, people have like, already you know. started saying, we, do we need Virat Kohli, at least as a captain? Can't we have just this guy? Because he won all, he didn't uh, lose people. all the five test oh, matches. People. <laughs> yeah, he's going to come back and make a big double century. And we'll be like, okay, shut the <laughs> hell up. So but yeah, it's going to be fine. So yeah, on that note, take care. Have a good Republic Day. Enjoy. Uh, do not drink and fall in an open sewer. If you do drink, try to look down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, please don't fall in an open sewer. There are still a lot of sewers. I don't know what is happening in Bangalore, but I, I don't know if you're aware in Delhi, it's garbage city everywhere. It feels like Gotham City from uh, the movie yeah. Joker that we watched yeah. together a uh, couple of years ago. It's just garbage everywhere. There's been a strike, it's just okay. going on and on, and it's just garbage in the streets. It's just not fun. When I walk outside, I was like, whoa, what is happening here? This is like Gotham City. <laughs> And uh, Vacuum Phoenix would be proud. So it doesn't look good. It's just bad. Yeah. All right. Take care. Yeah. Enjoy. Have a good one. Enjoy. Bye-bye.